Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. Today we're going to be talking about the recent collection done by famous Japanese streetwear brand Bape and famous sporting brand Wilson. Yes, you heard it right folks. So these two big powerhouse brands have collaborated together to do a small tennis capsule and in today's video I thought I'd just go over and cover all of the pieces that have been released in this small capsule. Now, yes, so I said had released because unfortunately I didn't cover it in time, but the capsule has released already. It released on August 31st, and it doesn't actually contain too many pieces, but I thought, you know what? It still deserves a spotlight. It still deserves a little video to itself. So we're going to cover and go over each of the pieces in this little capsule. So to start it off with, we'll start off by looking at the Wilson Bape shirt. Now, yes, the first item of clothing in this collection, and actually the only item of clothing in this collection, this is the only piece of clothing, the rest of the collection is all accessories, which is actually pretty cool, so we'll have to dive into all the accessories after this, but talking about the only item of clothing, we have the Bape Wilson shirt. So, on the front, it's got the iconic Bape logo, stylized in a tennis racket looking decal, with the Wilson W over the top of it. It's actually a very well designed collaboration. I like it that they've incorporated a lot of the capsule itself, obviously the tennis capsule, the Wilson brand, and the Bape logo as well, and put them all together and put them in this like nice little art piece on the front. I think that's really, really cool. Now, if you weren't really sure on what the collaboration was between, they've also specified that it is a Bathing Ape and Wilson collaboration just below the actual decal. And on the back of it, if you're still unsure, looking at this like amazing little art piece on the front on who's collaborating here, they've got the Wilson W on the back, they've got the Bape Monkey on the back, they've got a Bathing Ape on the back, they've got Wilson on the back. If you don't know by looking at this shirt, it is a Wilson and Bathing Ape collaboration. But the shirt's really cool. It's, it's, <laughs> it, it's not subtle at all. It literally screams a Bathing Ape and Wilson collaboration all over it, on the back, on the front, on the art on the front, it's everywhere, it screams it everywhere. If you don't understand what this collaboration is between, you need to educate yourself guys, it's very much saying, look at who's collaborating here. But it's cool, it's it's still a nice shirt, um, maybe I'm a little bit biased because it's a white shirt and I'm, I'm a huge fan of just white shirts, but yeah, no, I actually really really like this piece, I think it's kind of crazy, kind of funky. I can't remember what the retail price was for it. All I know is the price spectrum of what this collection is going for. So the cheapest piece in this collection is 20 USD and the most expensive piece in this collection goes for 439 USD retail, which is maybe it's just poor man speaking over here, but that's a lot. And just to give you, you know, some perspective, the $439 piece in this collection is not this shirt. It is not the shirt. And if you can guess which piece it is without knowing what it is, good on you. But you you won't see it coming. But this, this is the shirt. This is the only item of clothing that came out in this collection. And I thought I'd just go over it. It's, it's very cool. I like it. It's very well done. I want to see someone in the full kit because the rest of it is accessories. So you could rock literally almost every single piece from this collection. I'd like to see someone do it. Honestly, it'd be kind of cool. But let's dive into the next couple of accessories and have a look at what is in this capsule. Now, diving into our first accessory. Again, subtlety is not key in this whole, you know, little capsule here, guys. They're definitely showcasing the idea that it's a collaboration between these two big powerhouses. But the first accessory has got a black flat cap with the Bathing Ape logo on it, the Wilson logo on it, got in gold, Wilson a Bathing Ape. And what I really like about this cap, it is quite subtle on the top. Even though it's got the two major brand logos on the front, it's still quite subtle. But what is really nice, and what's true to both Bape and Wilson, is that on the bottom of the cap, on, on, on the under part here, you know when you're wearing it under here, it's got the Bathing Ape camo on it. And Wilson, I, I'm pretty sure it's embroidered into the cap there. It's, I love it that that's really subtle because if you're looking at the cap front on and as you saw as I'm showing you these first two pictures, you don't see it until, you know, you get to see the showcase photo in the end where it's got the camo on it and Wilson embroidered on it. I love that. It's, it's really subtle until obviously, you know, you look up and BAM! There it is. 
wow <laughs> it's really cool it's really really well done that's a really smart way to handle it it's better than just like covering the whole top of the hat in the bathing ape camo i like it that it's like subtly placed here really really well done and even if we look at accessory number two which is the sports visor it is the similar type of premise so you've got the wilson bathing ape on the front you've got bape and uh wilson on the side then again if you're looking from the side if you're looking from the front you don't realize it it's not until you flip it up and bam you've got the bathing ape camo with Wilson embroidered on it again. I, I love it. It's very cheeky. I love it. It's a very nice way to hide the bathing ape camo, but also have it in plain sight just by sneakily putting it there. I think that's a really smart way of handling it. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comment section below about what you think of bathing ape putting the, uh, the camo hidden there. But I think it's just a really awesome way to handle it, guys. And those are the first two accessories in this collection. And again, they're not the most expensive pieces in this collection. They're probably around the mid-range when it comes to the actual price. I'll let you know when the uh, most expensive item is coming up. But, ooh, Jesus. But, okay, so, we've had the shirt. We've had the flat cap. We've had the sports visor. What's next? Let's have a look. And moving on to accessory number three, they continue with their heavy branded like accessories, man. Like seriously, you could, as I said, you could have the whole ensemble. You could have the shirt, you could have either the sports visor or the cap. I think I'd go sports visor if I was trying to do like a whole tennis outfit. But as I'm saying, you could go shirt, sports visor. And now for accessory number three, they've got the sweatbands. So you could have the headband as part of the head accessory. But, you've also got the wrist sweatbands as well, so you can literally have the whole ensemble. I think it's really, really cool. I think the Bathing Ape um, Wilson headband and sweatbands are just black with the branding on them. I don't think there's anything special about them. I don't think on the inside it's got the camo. I think they've kept it very, very simple with the sweatbands. But, it's cool, man. Like, I'm telling you, this, there could be some hilarious, awesome done Instagram photos of just people wearing the whole ensemble. It's really well done. And... That's all we've really got to say about the sweatbands. Unfortunately, they're a little bit lackluster compared to the caps and the sporting visor. But, you know what? It's it's still got to be mentioned, man. It's seriously still a cool idea. But, moving on to now, the most expensive accessory and the most expensive piece of this collection. I'm not going to spoil it. Let's have a look. Could you guess what it was? Without knowing what items are in this collection, it's a tennis inspired collection. Can you imagine what the most expensive piece in this collection is going to be? Well, if you could, good on you. But, to not delay it any longer, the most expensive piece in this little capsule they're doing, hmm, tennis inspired capsule, it's going to be the tennis racket. They did a Wilson Bape tennis racket. And the details are pretty crazy on this tennis racket, I gotta say. So, obviously, you've got your standard Wilson tennis racket. You've got right at the bottom of the, um, I don't know, the part that you hold. Or the I, I, I don't know my tennis racket terminology here, but the bottom of the handle that you hold, it's obviously got the Wilson logo right at the bottom. Then, as soon as you hit the actual, you know, part that you hit with the racket, again, don't know my tennis terminology. You've got the bathing ape camo all the way around the tennis racket. And of course, you've got a bathing ape written on the side of the tennis racket as well. But this is crazy. This is And this is just, just a wild concept. It comes in a bathing ape Wilson uh, case as well, covered in the bape camo. They've got all out for this tennis racket. It's absolutely crazy. And then, of course, you've got the Wilson logo done on the actual net of the racket as well. It is just... It's wild. It's crazy. I can't believe they actually did this accessory. But what is more astounding to me is the price of the accessory. Because I used to play tennis when I was really, really young. But I didn't. I, I don't remember my parents spending more than $100 on a tennis racket. Or even willing to spend that much on a tennis racket. I remember tennis rackets being under $100. But this one. This Wilson Bathing Ape tennis racket will set you back. At a retail price, I may remind you. So if you manage to pick it up from the Bape websites... It will cost you this much retail, not to mention how much people are reselling them for. The Bathing Ape Wilson Tennis Racket 
is going to cost you 439 US dollars. This is what this hype beast article is telling me. It is going to cost you 439 USD to buy the Bathing Ape Wilson tennis racket. It is legitimately just a flex item. Like you would, you if you were using it, you would only use it at like the professional level of tennis. If I saw some professional tennis player walking onto the court with the Bathing Ape tennis racket, I'd be like, damn. You know what's up. You know what's going on. But I cannot imagine your everyday punter just like using this $439 tennis racket at, I don't know, tennis training. Maybe if you're just like super into tennis, you might be like, you know what? I'm going to stunt on the boys at the tennis courts. I'm going to bring my Wilson bathing ape tennis racket. But this is ridiculous. Like what? What? I'm just more intrigued in why all the other pieces from this collection, like an average price of like, what you'd expect for a bathing ape collaboration. And then the tennis racket, boom, out of nowhere. Just like 439 USD. Like, that's crazy. That's that's too wild. <laughs> I'm not hugely into tennis. I'm not hugely into bape. I'm not hugely into Wilson. So maybe for me, it's just way too much money for a tennis racket. But maybe you fit all three of those criterion and you love tennis, you love bape, you love Wilson. And this is like the perfect item for you. Let me know in that comment section below if you would spend this money on this kind of tennis racket. But for me, oh, it's, it's going to be a hard pass on that. Honestly, this accessory, it's a little bit too much for me. But it's very cool. I would love to see, I'm raving on about it, but I would love to see like the whole ensemble. I think that'd be a bit of a laugh. I would love to see it. So if you guys see them, tag it, me in it on Instagram. I want to see someone's full kit on it. I think this would be hilarious. But I love it. Like it's It's stupid. It's crazy. People are obviously going to buy it. I mean, there are huge Bathing Ape fans out there that would just buy all the accessories because they're collecting them, but this one would set you back. Oh my God. Oh my God. So now we'll, we'll calm it down and we'll move into the cheapest accessory in this whole collection. Let's give it a little look-see. To, to, to come down off this Bathing Ape Wilson high. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just ease into it with a nice twenty dollar accessory, nice twenty US dollars accessory. Very easy, very simple. If you're a collector of street wand, street wand, street brand accessories or bathing ape accessories in general, this is probably a lot more palatable for twenty US dollars. You can get yourself some bathing ape tennis balls. You know, something, something easy. Bathing ape Wilson tennis balls, may I remind you as well. So you got, you know, you got the little bathing ape logo on it. You got the little Wilson logo on it does everything it needs to even the little packet has the bathing ape camo all over it what would have been cool if these tennis balls were not the iconic you know neon green but the bathing ape camo Ooh, babe hire me to design your tennis balls because <laughs> like I'm, I'm just saying here imagine bathing ape camo tennis ball with the red wilson logo and the red bathing ape logo on it I'm telling you, that's that that's a better way to handle it, but I'm not going to discredit them too much. It's still a very nice little little collection here, a nice little collaboration. But I do like these tennis balls. For 20 USD, if I was a collector of all these accessories from these streetwear brands, I'd pick them up. I'd pick them up. Maybe you're interested in picking them up. 20 USD is not too bad. It's like 30-something Australian, 35 probably. Not, not including shipping, obviously, but it ain't that bad. It ain't that bad. I, I, these are pretty cool, but... Yeah, to come off the Bathing Ape Wilson High, we'll end it there with the $20 accessory, the Bathing Ape Wilson Tennis Balls. I want to hear your thoughts though, guys. Are you a huge fan of this small little capsule? Did you pick up any of this small capsule when it dropped on the 31st? Let me know in that comment section below. But that is it, guys. That is the Bathing Ape Wilson collab. And I would just like to say thank you all for tuning in today. I have absolutely loved covering this little collection. I didn't want to, you know, skip over it. I did want it to come out. I did want to cover it. So here we go. That is the collection. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions though in that comment section below. Don't forget, follow all the socials in the description section below. It helps you keep up to date with all the videos that I'm posting. And of course, subscribing to the channel will do exactly that as well. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.